kwa miguu tatu po msikira wangu ni mrejea kwa sababu ya maisha yake ya kibaki ni kwenda kupea historia ya mwai kibaki na pia kama ndio umejiunga nasi labda kuna wale wamejiunga nasi sasa hivi sasa hivi labda maisha bada yake na maana pia Africa TV kwa live maana nimempa notification na kuambia karibu this is your destination of your choice for local and international entertainment popote pale ulipo na kukaribisha tena na nakuambia kwamba unazozungumza nasi kupitia kwa sasa wetu Facebook at Pure Africa TV Instagram at Pure Africa TV Twitter at Pure Africa TV na pia unazozungumza nasi unakutazama vipindi zetu pale YouTube tuko live pale kama ile nyinyi vipindi zetu za asubuhi na mid morning na wao utazitazama tuziko zimejipanga pale Facebook uzitazame kisha ushare like comment tuma comment zako tume uh, you are point ambayo unataka kuzungumza nasi or the idea you go to the us we are here because of you and we are here to serve you and to make sure that we satisfy your needs na nilikuwa nazungumzia tu historia yake mwai kibaki kwa upesi maana naona mtu anaioma sana na tunaona kwamba kibaki wazazi wake walikuwa peasant farmers walikuwa wachungaji wa ngombe walikuwa wafugaji wa ngombe kuku na pia kondoo na mbuzi alisema kwamba kibaki alikuwa na historia yake ilikuwa inaelezewa kidogo ndio inaelezea historia yake kidogo maana hii ilikuwa siku yake ya mwisho hiyo kesha atakuwa na lazo na anasema kwamba wazazi wake walikuwa they also engaged in trade where they could sell some of the agricultural produce in the village market zile shamba za zile masoko za ushago unajua village market kuna zile village market unazikiwa zinauza nyanya nyanyao kitunguu sukuma nini just to make sure kwamba majirani wanapata vyakula wanauza sukari kwa hivyo wazazi wake kibaki walikuwa wanajihusisha na hiyo biashara wanauza ngombe hiyo inatuashiria kwamba kibaki hakutoka pale ambapo tulikuwa tuna expect kwamba katika hiyo logic yake tuone kwamba kibaki was from my parents were rich nini nini hiyo ni watu walikuwa wanatarajia lakini that is the real life of kibaki na nashukuru sana maana alikuwa chini ya wazazi katika ile childhood yake alikuwa chini ya wazazi ambao alikuwa careful na alikuwa anamlinda vizuri na kamea na majirani maana kila mtoto anapomea lazima kuwe na majirani marafiki ambao wanacheza nao na chuma ngombe pamoja wanacheza zile mchezo wa watoto unazijua anazungumzia zile kamari za watoto wanacheza zile kuchunga na watoto pamoja kucheza mpira kwa pamoja na kushaidia sasa pamoja kwa hivyo mwai kibaki alikuwa anacheza na majirani wake wakichunga ngombe pamoja wakiogelea pamoja nikumbusha nikiwa pia mtoto nilikuwa naogelea na kucheza na watoto lakini mimi bado mimi pia ni mtoto maana bado si yao nasema kwamba ndio yao ndio ametoka utoto ni mimi bado ni mtoto basi mimi bado ni youth si yao msitule chai kwa hivyo kibaki alikuwa na enjoy hiyo maisha wakichunga na wenzake chunga ngombe chunga mbuzi wakifukuza zile antelopes maana ki antelopes ziko pale ushago ndio kizungumzie ushago ni pale penye ukizunguka hivi unaona sungura ametokea na toroka ukizunguka uchunga ngombe unasikia umbo wanabweka wanamfukuza sungura ama antelo kwa hiyo kibaki alikuwa na enjoy zile maisha za kitambo maana kama ni miss zile maisha za kitambo my friends ilikuwa tamu try all means urudi kidogo ukue mtoto ucheze zile maisha za kitambo na pia katika maisha ya si wote tuna changamoto na changamoto ambazo tuko nazo wewe labda uko na changamoto fulani katika maisha yako ya utotoni labda uko na changamoto ya kulala njala labda uko na changamoto ya kulemewa na maisha na kusema
maisha nikizungumzia changamoto maybe wewe ulikuwa na changamoto pia mtoto changamoto ya kulala njaa changamoto ya kukosa popote pa kulala changamoto ya kuchokuwa na marafiki changamoto ya ku kupoteza mzazi lakini kibaki anatuelezea kwamba changamoto alikuwa nayo sana ni ya kuamka asubuhi na kuwa shuleni changamoto ambayo kila mmoja amepitia yule mimi nimepitia maana nikifikaga zile majira ya saa 11 maswa 12 asubuhi nasikia kwamba ndio usingizi na kumta sasa naona kibaki pia alikuwa na hii experience anasema kwamba waking up so early to go to school sometimes is very cold weather baridi 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 imeshika lakini wafu go maana mzazi lazima atakulazimisha na naona pia kupitia hiyo kulazimisha mzazi ndio nimemletea kibaki kuwa the present kwa sababu ya masomo yake na uh, sometimes unafika shuleni umekasirika maana umeamsha nyumbani na mzazi umekasirika unafika pale shuleni unasikia kama umekasirika na mzazi mwalimu wako ni baadhi ya challenges unapitia katika kama wanafunzi na mwisho wa bado umetoka pale high school kama sasa kuna mwanafunzi ambaye akiwa pale high school alikuwa amemtukia mwalimu fulani lakini sasa hivi najua nampenda maana aliona kwamba that teacher had a purpose why alikuwa anampesa na unamwona Raila ninamzungumzia mwana zake mwa Kibaki naona kwamba anasema kwamba mwa Kibaki anasema kwamba katika zile changamoto anasema by by and large i enjoyed my days in primary and secondary schools kwa hivyo kila mtu alienjoy Kibaki pia alienjoy primary and secondary schools maana primary ulikuwa na day school na unatoka tu hapo unajua labda tena nipate kauji mama alimbakishia so Kibaki was enjoying the life secondary school na secondary school mimi siku enjoy na uji ina sukari ni choka nani kibaki ya enjoy my everyone was very important since many of the impressions and attitudes i initialized during the period to are instrumental in shaping me into the person i am today na mungu kweli maana jinsi unavyokuwa katika zile changamoto unakuwa nazo katika primary schools na pia kwa high school zinakushape na ukuwa mtu ambaye unataka kuwa katika maisha maana ukikuwa katika ile maisha ya soft life pale high school ama primary pale ambapo wewe unaletwa na gari unaletwa na pikipiki unafika shule na unarudishwa na pikipiki jioni haitakufunza maisha utatembea leni kwa mbegu kwa hivyo zile changamoto ambazo unapitia kwenye primary school na pia high school zinakufunza mengi katika maisha na kibaki akazungumzia kuhusiana na mau mau rebellion maana unakumbuka zile mau mau rebellion ambazo zilitokea nchini Kenya nilisaidia sana kukuleta colonization hapa nchini na anasema kwamba kama si maumau anguke kwa na colonization hapa nchini sasa hivi ndio kwa bado under the rule of colonialism colonialism kizungu hicho kigumu kizungu likuja na meli na si chetu ni kizungu ni wenyewe kwa hivyo colonialism ingekuepo kama kulikuwa na maumau the rebellion naona kwamba wamama pia walipigana wazee pia walipigana kwa hivyo kibaki anasema kama maumau was one of the key events during my childhood kwa hivyo kile mpata kama kibaki alikuwa kinda mdogo na this was an uprising against colonialism walikuwa napinga ule utawala wa wale britain ambao walitawala it was the struggle that eventually freed our country from the bondage of colonialism without the maumau rebellion our country would probably be still under colonial rule This struggle was therefore critical in asserting our dignity as Africans and taking responsibility over the destiny of our lives. Wa wale wana maumao. Kisha ukitazama colonialism, if colonialism ever had the merit, it was lying on a, a foundation for education. Education was enabled our citizens to acquire the competence we require to run our country and earn decent livelihood. Sana so, kwamba colonialism ileta pia masomo na hiyo masomo imetusaidia sana katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Imeleta education education so even inasaidia watu wengi sana. Naona mtu anasoma. Ngoja tulimuona Rais Uhuru Kenyatta akisema kwamba the billionaires we have in this country, mimi si jimbo la Rais alizungumza maneno. Akisema kwamba the billionaires we have in this country or in this world hao kumaliza masomo yao. Napata mimi ni pass form to drop out. Napata mimi ni alikuwa form for drop out lakini mwisho wa siku hiyo ndio sasa bilionea ndio bilionea wewe umesoma uko na madigri zako uko na ma PhD zako uko na doctorate uko na professor lakini bado tu unatembea barabarani kutafuta kazi kwa hivyo colonialism ilitusaidia sana maana ilitufungua mawazo kutokana na ile colonialism ya wale wanao tutawala wala ambao walikuwa na tutawala na talking of the britain kisha kisiasa na mzungumzie Kenya 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 should uh, reorient maana sasa hivi tuko katika era ya siasa political era we are facing in our country Kenya tuko katika political era na Kenya akasema kwamba Kenya should reorient the attitude towards politics politics must not be seen as a tribal contest tusione kwamba siasa 
ni mchangano wa kikabila tribal contest na kusema politics must not be seen as an arena for settling scores or an avenue for personal aggrandizement of vanities of a few individuals tusione kwamba siasa itufanye tuwapendele watu fulani na tuwa wana waku kuliko wengine tupendane maana siasa inapita na kusema kwamba it must be seen as a process through which issues are articulated and resources are located for the good of everyone in the country Kenyans must now pursue issues oriented politics wow, what, a, what a speech concerning ile politics manana yake kwa politics hiyo na akasema kwamba money society kila mtu akizungumza hata mimi nikizungumza hapa natafuta pesa kila mtu anatafuta pesa pia watu pote pale mko natafuta pesa we are looking for money pesa 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 we are looking for money kwa sababu money is important but wealth creation is even more important pesa ni muhimu lakini kutengeneza utajiri ni muhimu zaidi na anasema kwamba we must make money but this should not be done through hard work not shortcuts hii good statement anasema kwamba usitengeneze pesa kutumia shortcut shortcut ni gani kwenda kuiba kupora ama kufanya mambo basi ya kukula pesa ya uma ila kuwafanyia kazi unapewa na serikali 1 billion ufanyie mambarabara lakini unaendelea kwenye tumbo zako tumbo lisilo shiba hiyo nazungumzia sitamtaja jina maana mnamjua tumbo lisilo shiba nikisema hiyo tumbo lisilo shiba na ro county na nifahamu nikisema hiyo tumbo lisilo shiba na akasema kwamba e, tunafaa kwamba ku appreciate anasema kwamba ukitaka kutengeneza wealth yako work hard so you should work hard for your wealth and making yourself look decent and look rich it is also important to appreciate that money is a medium of the exchange maana sasa hivi naona Kenya ina copper kwa sababu ya kufanya biashara na kishafanya biashara na unafahamu kwamba umetengeneza ma railway na ile railway inaleta pesa kwa hivyo exchanging money with railway una pesa inatengenezwa railway inatengenezwa should not therefore be accumulated for this own sake once money is made it should be invested the investment must be careful planned so that the investment can generate more money and facilitate it values anazungumzia investment usikue tu tunatumia pesa kiholela maana sasa hivi ukipea comrade pesa kazi yake atafikia tukipiga sherehe piga sherehe tunapiga sherehe kama venye weekend sasa hivi imeanza weekend inaanza leo na inaisha tuesday so we have a five good day weekend na utakuwa unapiga sherehe na utakuwa unatumia pesa ukitumia pesa ukitumia shilingi kumi weka shilingi kumi kwenye investment tunza weka popote pale una sell that you invest and you use money ndio upate mengine maana uki invest katika mabanki unapata interest of 2% or 1.5% so remember to invest also this implies that money must be prudently managed since investment entails the means of creating wealth and employment opportunities that is the fact it is important to ensure that as many people as possible have access to money for investment this is the way to economy grows it calls kwa hivyo anazungumza kama mwan economist yeye ni mwan economist mzee mwan kibaki na tukizungumzia tu education yake alikuwa na mambo mengi ambayo zilizungumzia katika ile biology yake na tunasema kwamba minerals discovered the early discovery minerals about discovery sema kwamba the minerals and the oil we are discovering must not destroy our country let us find ways to ensuring that these newly discovered natural world works for our countries and country in general we owe this to present and to present and to future generation so above all let us be nation at boots boots first and mtamlisha mungu na tunasema kwamba mungu ni mweza yote inaitwa kwamba the street is the game street is the game ni mstand lena hiyo inaitwa education acha nisome education yake akizungumzia masomo tunamkumbuka kwa kuleta free education anasema kwamba education is now the most important factor of production maana on education na data new technologies new students are coming new bright students are coming no na new engineers are coming out we see new hackers coming around and new educated people are coming around and some come no one no no one no country can be competitive without massive investment in education so i say come come kila taifa invest in education kama inataka kuwa competitive we must therefore ensure all our children have access to quality education this is only way of giving them a fair chance in life to, in life in today's world but it should not just be education you must look at particular bodies of knowledge and skills that are driving economies around the world and that will continue to do so in the foreseeable force future let us focus on these areas and other that relevantly to needs of our country and the world 
market that is the talking of education mko wana mkumbuka sana leona wengi wakilio kusema kwamba tunamkumbuka na free primary education na inisaidia wengi sana kiwemo pia mimi inisaidia sana free primary education kisha environment akasema after many years of poor environment management all over the world we are now facing the serious consequences of climate change so every change ikitokea katika climate tunaona kwamba we face many floods na akasema kwamba these consequences are dire and include prolonged droughts and uncontrollable floods Nuna kwamba flood na droughts na kaya ukizungumzia kajiado ukizungumzia tulukano ukizungumzia baringo kuna high droughts na zile droughts kishaoka kisha mvua inyesha ama kuwa na high rainfalls kutakuwa na flow overflow na kutakuwa na ile clearness kumaanisha kwamba floods inasafisha kila kitu na bomoa manyumba kwa sababu ya floods kisha they have severe consequences on our livelihoods and survival you must do all that is necessary to reverse these trends by embracing the concept of green economy in its entire entire kumesha kwamba green economy ile inasaidia sana kwa hivyo ana encourage sana tutume green economy na akasema kwamba there is no shortcut and the choices are only two we must protect the environment or perish maana akasema kwamba to protect the environment tupande miti katika zile sehemu ambazo kuna ukame kumesha kwamba tutazuia zile Drought kwa ukanda. Tukipanda zile miti zitazuia pia the wind blowing na kusafirisha manyumba za watu na pia kuzuia zile mvua zikinyesha kuwa na gali erosion, kuwa na soil erosion na kuwa na zile emotion. Hii ni maneno ambayo alizungumzia ilikuwa inasomwa na yule ilikuwa inaangazia maisha yake mwai kibaki. Na kwa upesi tu niangazie, kuna story fulani hapa inanipamba sana. Story fulani inanipamba hapa sana 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 sana. Story ambayo inanipamba sana na two days ago let me talk about it two days ago two days ago i'm talking of a young gentleman mimi sijui serikali na mbona inafanya hii mambo anaitwa Kariuki joined the ministry of environment and forest in january 2018 najua namzungumzia nani kijana ambaye ana earn in a month 32000 lakini akakuwa na uwezo ya ku transact 79 million how is it capable life How is it capable in life? You are earning 32,000. Let me just explain it slowly. You are earning 32,000 a month. Then uh, you are capable of transacting 79 million. 79 million. What is 79 million? From 32,000. Come on, you get 32,000 from 79 million. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That is a very very lot of money. Na Pacha tu ni kusomee what is happening this man. Eh eh, haya ni January 2018, alikuwa haya na hii inazungumzia alikuwa haya na naitwa Ministry of Environment and Forestry 2018 as an officer as a financial officer in job K earning a salary of 32,000. Kisha eh, net pay is 32,000 just explaining this is Kariuki so I and it was someone in Joroge Kariuki Alaf also works at save the children much and fun for his part time kisha kuna earns 27000 a month at the save of children except children earn 27000 per month kumaanisha that is a total of 59000 per month then opened an account on August 21st 2009 alifungua account yake first 21st August 2009 He sold signatory na zungumzia someone Jeroge kisha received 79.7 million in account that is the account of value fungua in August 21st 2009 kisha received 3.9 million that is we are heading at 83.23.6 uh, million that is uh, karaoke hiyo ni baada ya kufungua account 2009 and he placed to purchase snacks at 3.9 million then applied for 6.5 million impressed on june that year that is 2021 6.5 million impressed then money credited on it to his account on july 2021 last year july 2021 received 1.2 million from ministry between march 1st and april 2022 between march 1st and april 2022 and received 1.2 million from ministry Funds designated as purchases of snacks, parcels of land, motor vehicles to be seized. Sasa namzungumzia yule kariuki. Mimi it is a funny story na 
tumeona kwamba the court freezes ni the court freezes and the high court has frozen the bank account of uh, public officer and the ministry of environment who is alleged to have fraudulently acquired public funds amounting millions of shillings somebody earning 32 million in a month ndio anafanya kazi pia alikuwa anafanya kazi na children self alikuwa na 27 000. That is 27 plus 32, that is 59,000 in a month. To say me kuna sitting in salons, let me put it a total of 80,000. Uh, 80,000 from 2018 until now. Those are how many years? Those are approximately 4 years. 4 years are how many months? That is 12 months. 12 months you can multiply by 80,000. That is around uh, 96. That is 9 million 600. You can afford to buy common expenses. That is 96. Million, 96 million times 9.6 million, okay, multiply by 4. That is uh, talking around of 4, carry 1, that is 38 million 400. Yeah, the talk is 79 million. Let me see about it. The transaction. So the high court has frozen the bank account of, an, of a public officer at the Ministry of Environment who is allowed to have totally acquired public funds account. According to the preliminary investigators by the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commissioner, Commission, that is ESEC. Yes, I'm going to sum up your work as 22 million, an amount that does not match his salary, and therefore the funds in the account are believed to have been obtained through corruption. Document filed in court indicate that Karioki joined the Ministry of Environment and Forest in January 2018 as a finance officer to a job, Group K, earning a salary of 32,000. Before joining the Ministry of Environment and Forest, he was working as a save the children, earning a net of 27. Kumanisha alitoka save children. Ya kaenda pali. Kumanisha alikuwa na work part time muku na kaenda uko sena. So, he's earning around 59,000. That apart from his salary, the respondent received numerous large sums of money from his employer, the Ministry of Environment and Forest, amounting 79 million, C763944 million. Reads court papers. ESCC says that uh, as the as of the date of the execution of warrants, the respondent bank account had a balance of twenty two million four sixty seven thousand two hundred ninety nine nine, which had not been utilized. Commercial shared to me again. Between March twenty nineteen and March twenty twenty two, we received an interest of three point nine million for the purchase of snacks. I'm talking of karaoke. Investigation established that the 2nd February and 5th February 2021, public funds designated as purchase of snacks were irregular acquired and spent. Read, read the court's document. Kumancha zile snacks were purchased, zile kwa irregular as it can. The commission's finding have raised reasonable sus suspicions that considering the respondent's salary, the credits into his bank account and his proportionate to his uh, non-legitimate, non-source of income and could have been obtained through corruption. Now, I'm not going to blame anybody. Sita la umu mtia yote katika hii situation, maana ndio inakaa, it's an awkward situation, maana talking of 32,000 in a month and then uh, you're talking of 79 million in your account. Where does that money comes from? So I will not blame anybody. Sita mlaumu karaoke na sita mlaumu ECC, but I'll blame my government. Talking of my government, why are you so suspicious concerning karaoke's bank account? Why are you not talking of the? Why are you checking of the local people's account? Or not checking about the MCS, the governors in our countries? Talking of the senators in our country? Talking of billions in the account? Talking. Look at the, the story of. I'm um, talking of the story of. Uh, the guy who said mimi na ogopa uji na mungu, naito nani? Ni masao jina haki kidogo, uji na laki na nipotelea. You liona kumbwa mtuto haki kwenye account ya kona 1 million. You didn't take any action, kwa sababu sa hivi yako free. And in the way, a fedna nipo ititu kumbrali. Fedna nipo ititu. Sa hivi ni hivyo tena amerudi kariga siyasa, anawania siyasa zake. Gita after kiti cha ugaba na tena. Ipezi mtazamali. Mbona huyu karioki ya mepelekwa di putini and uh, account yake mikuwa frozen kwa sababu ya kuwa na pesa mbazo ni illegal. Ndiyo tunasema kwamba ni za environment and forestry. Lakini why are you looking at talking of the ESCC? Why are you investigating the life of a young man who is a That is, was his only opportunity to make it in life. We are investors all of us and we are looking for money. Lakini jamali kwa shana make it. Asha exhaust money from 79 million. Adi ya mebaki na 22 million. Asha tumie 59. 
ashatumia 55 million na baki na 22 million na hizo zishakuwa frozen na imesha so mimi my big question is why are we concentrating on these young people ambao wanapiga aso zao na wanatumia wash wash kuna zile zinaitwa wash wash na labda yeye wash wash yake ni mfanya ku earn such a amount of money that is for kayuki so mimi si jinao mdao wangu mmeoma sana ndio naona imesonga sana and uh, kumalizia tu suluhu the president of Tanzania ame offer a holiday due to the uh, presidential funeral of Mwai Kibaki the late Mwai Kibaki so Tanzania are going to experience an holiday for two days that is the uh, order from above by the Samia Suluhu so Tanzanians are expecting a holiday from any day from today there is a holiday today in Tanzania so schools and the flags of Tanzania in every country that have the flag of Tanzania should raise half of it so in every office in Tanzania kutakuwa na bado itakuwa na pandisho nusu kwa sababu ya heshima zake Mwai Kibaki rais wa tatu wa nchi yetu ya Kenya na tunasema kwamba waacha na roho yake lale mahali pema popeni anapozikwa kesho tutasahau na mambo yake Mwai Kibaki then tulivyo sahau yake Jomo Kenya tulisahau yake ya Daniel Torotich Arab Moi and kwa sababu ya muda mimi nataka ni kwake maana naona nimetumia muda wengine eh na naona nimeanza kuambiwa hapa toka toka so mimi nataka nipeane nafasi kwa sababu nilikuwa na nilikuwa na story nyingi hapa za kuangazia maana ukitazama sasa hivi nchi yetu ya Kenya tuko sehemu mbalimbali maana ukitazama fuel crisis ndio tena imeongezeka unaona kwamba wanasema kwamba another fuel crisis looms as oil marketing companies fight with retailers hiyo sitaangazia uende ujisomee hiyo iko kwenye magazeti uone kwenye mafuta yanayo sasa hivi tunaona kwamba tulaidiwa kwamba mafuta itakuwa kwa full animation lakini sasa tunaona kwamba bado bado kuna changamoto kidogo ya mafuta na tunaona kwamba mafuta ya mboga gasi zinapanda zilipanda kwa kasi ikizungumziwa kwamba kwa muda wa miaka miwili hizo bidhaa zimepanda kwa kasi na pia tuliona jana the mills company wakisema kwamba kutakuwa na uhaba wa unga Kenya 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 mimi nataka ni kwake na kutakia weekend njema a uh, beautiful holiday from today till Tuesday na mimi sijasema mimi naenda holiday mimi nitakuwa napiga kazi sisi ni wana reporter na tunaweza kupiga kazi kwa hivyo wewe piga holiday yako kama mwanafunzi shuleni anza kusoma you got only less than Five months to prepare for your examination. Those doing for your form four, those doing for form three, when I do, you end up with your form four. All the best. Now, when I fuck with you, end up going to the same. If you came to any, if you go into the same, we come back. This is a two come back here visually. I come to come back here visually. We went to some visually. So, get prepared, man. Everything is a preparation. I just even on a circle in a day, end up with some of the music. I came to make it back. I come to talk. I come to come back to the music. While the day end up with some of the music. P.I. The day end up with some of the music. I come to make your future. Is on your own hands. Your future is determined in a venue. Utakume jipanga at your youth stage. Na kwa sababu ya muda wacha ni kuwage ni mikuwa wako cha Masi James. Na kutakia weekendi njema. Weekendi ambaye mungu watakulinda. Weekendi ambaye utanda mana na mkono wake mungu. Weekendi ambaye utakua na amani. Weekendi ambaye na kutakia kila lahiri na familia zako. Pali nyumbani tuonane hiyo jumatatu kwa hiyo.